It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC West. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Denver Broncos coming up next. An absolutely perfect fall afternoon for football, and we are under bright blue Colorado skies at Empower Field at Mile High in Denver. Today, we've got a compelling AFC matchup for you, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Denver Broncos. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, such a great quarterbacking tradition here in the Mile High City. It continues with the presence now of Russell Wilson. What's your outlook of year two? Cautiously optimistic because Russell Wilson, a down year last year, but he's been so great throughout his career, you expect him to get back to those heights. Pair him with Sean Payton, the new head coach, put those two minds together, and I'm expecting Denver to be much improved. And meanwhile, for the visiting Chiefs, it's business as usual. They come in as defending Super Bowl champs, and they feature what was the number one scoring offense in the NFL a season ago. The consistency is the key, and it all starts with the head coach and emanates from there. Offensive coordinator has been around the team for a while. They understand how these players operate and what it takes to put them in position to be successful. And off we go from Denver. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Well, the Broncos offense gets set to go to work. And at the helm in his second season wearing orange and blue, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills. The ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give him seven there on the first down carry. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They'll stay on the ground with Williams, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pick up, first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Wilson. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. Here's second and ten. They give it to Williams running right. And now off to the races down the right side. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one 28 yards on the ground. But when you're able to break a run against a cover two or a two deep zone, safeties are back a little ways. What you're counting on is the guys taking care of business up front and then maybe climbing to the second level. That offensive lineman or tight end getting up to the second level and able to block the safety in order to create a big run. Yeah, making those linemen work with a couple of blocks. They look good doing it there. Nick Bolton there on the tackle. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. From the 31, here's second and five. Here's Wilson to throw. That's going to be caught by Judy. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll leave him with a third and two. Third and two. 
And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he will have the Broncos first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. It's amazing how much advice defensive players get on third down. You hear the bench screaming out, watch the draw, watch the screen, watch the pass here. Very rarely did they reference watching the fullback, and he slipped through and picked up a first down. They go play action now. Wilson, rush coming, and he's taken down. Willie Gay getting in there and picking up the sack. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. So for this defense, a tall order had trying to defend against Russell Wilson. Charles, your keys for how they might go about keeping him in check? Well, before we even get to the keys, let's start with the problems he presents because he feels pressure so well. He's got a great sixth sense, maybe even a seventh and eighth. He knows where the pressure's coming from. He knows how to slide away from it, sometimes run away from it, and then he finds good throwing lanes to deliver downfield. So to me, is that pressure inside, big tall guys to make him try and throw over them and make his height work against him. The kick by Lutz is good. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's 3 zip. Even though they didn't find the end zone, they have to be pretty pleased with how they moved the ball on the ground because we know that that was one of their big goals in this game. And that really goes through the entire offense because when you're running the ball effectively, just about everyone's involved. It's not just the guy carrying the football. It's everyone blocking for him, both inside and on the perimeter. to kick it away. Hardman will elect not to bring this out, and the football will be on the 25-yard line. And the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. There's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season. Super Bowl trophy? Check. MVP award? Check. League leader in yards and touchdowns? Check. How does he top the season he had last year? I don't know. But Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a run. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 37-yard line. Now it's Mahomes again. Right back to Tony. He's got another one. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Four consecutive passes to begin this opening drive, and you can't argue with the results. They've already driven it into the red zone and a fresh set of downs here to play with. Which means there's a lot of trust by the play caller, by the quarterback, the receivers, you name it. Everyone locked in, everyone doing their job. I 
continue to go in that direction because right now they got the defense back on their heels. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They run with the second-year man, Isaiah Pacheco. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as he's able to take this inside the 10 to the 8. That solid gainer will put them on the doorstep of the end zone. More importantly, it gives them a fresh set of downs. Nice work right there. Here's Mahomes to throw. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Broncos are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The turnovers, obviously, Charles, always costly. But, oh man, when you throw those interceptions in the end zone like that, it really stings. He tried to fit that one into his tight end. And I often use the expression NFL open, which means a tighter window. Down near the goal line, you really want him to be open. In this case, it cost him. They begin the drive with Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll power his way up near the 25. 49 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's one of those where it feels like backyard football in a sense. You say, forget about the route. Just run to the open spot in the middle of the field, and I'll find you. Good throw, good concentration on the catch, and they pick up the first down. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. It was Brian Cook who made the tackle. From the 44-yard line, here's second down and seven. Throwing is Wilson. Now he's taken down, a chief sack. Chris Jones, what an effort from him on that play. Big tackle for a loss of 11. Group effort at Kansas City finishing second in the NFL with 55 sacks last season. The no doubt leader of the effort, though, was Jones, who had 15 and a half sacks, which matched a career high, finishing third in the Defensive Player of the Year voting.
It's third and long now for Wilson and the Broncos after that sack. Operating from the gun, Wilson. That's to the sideline and incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football and now zapped right back in the other direction. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. On the return, it's Tony. A very good return that time. 18 yards, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They trail 3-0 after the INT last time led to a field goal, but now another fresh start here, first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And the Broncos are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. And, partner, I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Up the middle, it's Williams. He'll take this to the 46. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. From the 46, here's second down and seven. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Play action. Now Wilson. That caught by Manhurts. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with it. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Now second and three. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Rice. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. 
And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. A good rip by Pacheco. And you have to go back to 1990 with Johnny Johnson with the Cardinals to find a rookie seventh rounder with more rushing yards than he had last season. The 251st pick out of Rutgers took over to KC backfield with 830 yards in 2022. Fights through him, powering his way forward. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 55 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. He had his eyes on the end zone once he hit the secondary, but they're finally able to slow him down. Yeah, and I've got to look at this one from the defensive point of view. You just mentioned finally able to slow him down. They've got to figure out a way to make that at the point of attack, at the line of scrimmage, because once he gets through, he's shredding them. Throwing now is Mahomes. And this is incomplete. A good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. They're on connect but a late flag comes in and the contact may have come too early and since the penalty occurred in the end zone move the ball to the one yard line first and goal from the one yard line costly penalty an unlucky number here a loss of 13 on the play and that'll bring up a second and goal Looking to throw is Mahomes. That one caught by Rice. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A 10-yard completion, but still now facing third and goal. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything, forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. Butker's kick here is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 three, three now as the kick is away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And Denver getting set to take the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. 
Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards to begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll fight for maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. On third down, Wilson. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and they will take over first and 10. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. A run by Pacheco on second down. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. It shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Well, with the problems they've had giving away the football in this first half, they've got to be over the moon that this is still a tie ball game. So here's where a quarterback has to move the turnovers to the back of his mind and focus on the present. And that's a good throw there to pick up a first down. Mahomes now on first down. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. They go play fake. Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, there's no disputing. He's made some poor throws in this first half, but this was a good one. And you can bet this is an offense that isn't going to pull back. They believe in what he can do. So all you can do is look forward, and they pick up a first down. Touchdown! Rasheed Rice, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Great corner route there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Javante Williams and the rest of the Bronco offense back out onto the field. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat, make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Here now, second and four. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 79 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. That's what we were hoping to see out of Williams last season before a torn ACL four weeks in, ruined expectations that he could join the top tier of NFL running backs. That type of upside remains, though, and Denver certainly prepared to help him unlock it as he returns to full strength. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Maybe a little over-anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. On second down, Williams. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The offense on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and four. Now Wilson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Riley Dixon now to punt it away. Here comes Tony on the return. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And now here comes Kansas City. They're starting to pull away with this one. Early on that first quarter, they didn't look so great offensively. What has changed? Sometimes it's just a matter of doing what you plan to do better. Sometimes you just put that all together and you execute. Other times it's just a simple adjustment in your game plan finding a spot that maybe was a little weaker than maybe you thought, and going to that. So many different things, so many different ways, but right now, you gotta like what they're doing. They have put distance between themselves and their opponent. Looking to add on here in the second quarter. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon, and he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Our score, 10 to 3, with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. Mahomes now on first down. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Second down and four. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Looking underneath, and he finds McKinnon. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. 
And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Now Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, It'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. On first down, Mahomes. Incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And he comes back with one complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. This now a third and four. Mahomes going to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And yeah, the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Butker's kick here is good, and they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Still going. One man to beat. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, 
and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. For the start of the third quarter, the Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 21. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Ball on the 39. Here's second and two. Here's Pacheco once again. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. That went into the hands of Tony downfield. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. A big play there for KC, 44 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. Big strides, look at him go. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Noah Gray, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker, sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. On first and 10, it's Wilson. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. Second and 10. Shot 
Wilson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Chris Jones picks up his second sack of the afternoon. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. It's third and long now for Wilson and the Broncos after that sack. They'll hand it off now. Williams, no gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. I have to admit to a little surprise here. A net down in distance? I would have thought they were going to throw the football. Instead, they decide to run it, but give credit to the defense. They weren't fooled at all and held them to no gain. Here's Riley Dixon now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Here's Mahomes to throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes over the middle. That's hauled in by Tony. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and a couple. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs are able to add on to that lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Butker on for the PAT. And the lead is now 24. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And coming out now, the Broncos. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Wilson. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he's on to punt for Denver. Fielded just inside the 30. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. The ball back to the Chiefs and Isaiah Pacheco. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. Mahomes now to throw. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards there and a first down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. I think it's pretty safe to say that when you're up three touchdowns, the last thing you want to do is hang one up there and put it in jeopardy and possibly get it intercepted. Get a nice lead. You should be able to protect it. But if you get careless with the football, look out. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. Denver's offense ready to go again. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. But if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. 
A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all, and it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Wilson. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Taking it about the 36. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. Isaiah Pacheco and the offense back out. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen. They see the blocks happen. They feel really good about their vision, and then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down and three. Now here's Mahomes. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. He'll look to throw. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. And that's another throw that could have been intercepted. Part of this, you credit the defense. They've been really stingy. But he's also made some really questionable throws, and that's another one right there. Mahomes will try again on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Broncos are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception They've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. And they'll bring Judy in motion right. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 22 now, here's the second and nine. 
Welcome back now to Denver. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. This offense so far on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. Here it's third and three. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. To throw is Wilson. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again here, Wilson. That's caught left side by Judy. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 37. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game, and on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Here's Wilson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 14. A third down gain of 19. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. He can't get him down. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. A toss to the wide side. This is Williams. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, OK, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. On third and one, Wilson. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Marvin Mims. A five-yard touchdown. And the Broncos are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. 
That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Here's me, Cole Hardman. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they th if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll make it second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain a five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And this Bronco defense really selling out to stop the run, and it pays off. They get him behind the line twice in a row. Now that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking at the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there that clock keeps rolling has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out now they're likely gonna have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline and take it right on the 30. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here into the hands of the receiver, Judy. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. On first down, Wilson. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. He'll get three yards on the scramble there and second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Wilson. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll fake a block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking, catch the ball, 
and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer, he just dropped the pass. Now it's second and 10. Now carry number 20 of the game, here's Williams. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 29. 104 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Well, that's a tough, costly penalty because now it makes it third and six after the false start. Now Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with the bigger guy to try and use size? Can I go with try go with the quicker guy and sometimes you even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They try the left side here with Williams. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Now Wilson on second down. Flushed out right. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Russell Wilson, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos are able to cut into that deficit. So this back now to a 10-point spread, and you have to imagine they'll line up and go for two. Oh, no question about it. If they can get this to an eight-point game, they can make things awfully interesting here in these last few minutes. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Wilson going to throw for it. And they will get back to within one score as he is into the end zone and the lead's cut to eight here in the fourth. And that almost makes it a brand new ball game. Now it's a one score affair after they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two point play because they had to have it to get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two point play, it worked. Now they're feeling like they've got a shot at this one. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Here's Hardman on the return. This taken in right around the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Again, it's Pacheco. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy.
guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. They'll look to pick it up with McKinnon. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game, first and ten here. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Pacheco gets it up the gun. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. A handoff now for Pacheco. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw, out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. It's a gain of 15, and that ought to just about put an end to this one. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on him to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Well, a couple more minutes, and maybe the outcome of this with Charles would have been different, but ultimately time runs out on the comeback, so it falls short. And they hold on to win this by just one possession. Not the fourth quarter they wanted, but they did earn the win, and they'll be happy about that, and they should be. Now they're going to go back to practice, see what they can do to prevent a future lead from slipping away like this one was.